So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. This is Drunken Master 93 signing off. Uh, all you really need is a potion station, right? Once you get the potion station and you go ahead and get you a conjuring spell, just whenever you see crystals, just go ahead and tap that R2 button. That way you can collect crystals. You just, once you can make one of them, you can make multiple copies of them, which is a wonderful thing. Once you hit like level 85 plus or something like that, then start uh, upgrading. Because once you sell shit, it's not really, it's not going to give you extra fucking coin for it. You need one large pot and table for flux weed. Uh, a fertilizer thing helps you grow like extra in these but it only increases by like one or two which is okay i guess uh you need a triple planting table and once you have that you need a male and female of each species once you have a male and female of each species you want to get to a breeding station right here which works by walking up to it and then just breeding shit you can also sell these animals and whatnot but I haven't really found a reason to sell them because they don't really pay that much. Uh, if you have the automatic feeding station, which you get from Tomes and Scrolls, and the toy box, which you get from Tomes and Scrolls, all you have to do is just come in, switch over to the brush, and then you'll, you will be able to, you know, get all of the fur, the hair, the feathers, whatever you need etc that way you can come over to loom and upgrade your shit which you just do by clicking uh view trades view upgrade boom 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 and voila you're done it just keeps going on and on but i wouldn't suggest using the loom until like 85 because it's really not going to be much like at all uh Everything else pretty much just takes time, man. Once you do like the main story, if you do the main story straight through without like side quests and whatnot, then you're gonna end up at like level 32 or something like that, kind of like I did. Which if you end up at that level, uh, you're gonna have to get to 34 so you can win the house cup for your selected house. Yeah, which is okay, it's, yeah. I mean, obviously the house cup is gonna go to you regardless, but all right, what can you do? You know? Uh, and that's pretty much it, man. Uh, the trolls, I would highly, highly suggest using primarily uh what i use for the trolls i would use havada cadaver for the trolls man the trolls and once you get to the not the ran rock dragon like it won't hit as much but it will take like a solid amount of life uh that being said Let's go ahead and go over to the talent section. Talent section. Uh, as you can see here, nothing is completely full, but I am done with the main story. Uh, stealth definitely comes in handy, so I would prioritize stealth. If you have yourself a couple of favorite spells, I guess then uh definitely prioritize those each of those will be in like core and spells which you will get shit like mastery <coughs> shit like that basically uh me personally i would go with for like spells wise uh arresto momentum 
and Glacius are probably like the best in like the yellow category uh personal opinion in terms of the purple category i would go with deposo yeah i would go deposo and then descendo which are really good uh flipendo and accio accio basically turns it into when guardian leviosa if you use it towards the end but these two are more for like puzzle solving shit uh bombarda is extremely powerful confrigo is really what you want to use against fucking spiders and shit like that uh defendo how do i describe defendo defendo is it's solid, you know. The main thing about Expelliarmus is that uh, you can mark people, and then if you have like Avada Kedavra or Crucio, any of the the Unforgivables, really, you know. Which Imperial is cool too. But if you have any of those, I would go with this whole red section or any of these sections, really. If you can use it to mark, like curse mark people, definitely go for that. Uh, Incendio is okay. I kind of liked it better before I turned it into the ring thing. The ring thing is very helpful for fighters, though. Uh, once again, in the stealth category, disillusionment is basically the shit, really. It's like the main one that you're pretty much going to use in this sky blue fucking area right here. Lumos is cool when you come up against, which I can't remember the name of it right now, but those thorns that hate fucking light from like the Chamber of Secrets movie, I think it was. That shit is great, as you can see right here on the screen. Uh... This whole kind of like puke green section is really only necessary when you're inside the room of requirement. This Avada Kedavra has a very, and I mean very long, like cool down time. But if you use the rest of these to curse mark people and take that time and then hit them with the Avada Kedavra, Bro, everybody's going down at once, which is great. Uh, Crucio is okay. It kind of just like slows people down. Plus this whole section right here pretty much goes through like the little thought bubbles that people have, like the yellow, purple, and red and shit that protect them. But it's all right. But in terms of the unforgivable curses, it would definitely be Imperial and Avada. Because Imperial, you're literally making your enemies fight for you at that point. You don't have to really do shit. So if you're going to use Imperial, I would definitely I'd go for the strongest person. So if you're up against trolls and a whole bunch of goblins, go for the troll. If you're up against like mother spiders and like the babies and shit, go for the mother spider, etc. etc. Because the biggest enemy is gonna kill the rest of them. Even when you're fucking uh when you're doing the whole ancient magic magic bullshit or whatever, and those giant dudes be coming up, hit them with the Imperial. Plain and simple. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, tips and tricks for Hogwarts Legacy. Now that I am finished with it, that's really what I got, man. Other than that, man, it's, it's definitely a great game. I, I definitely like the amount of uh, customization that you can do. And also, just for the people who don't know, some people were like low-key swaggy 
but still want like all of the fucking uh the XP points or whatever for like whatever you're wearing and some shit. You can change your appearance for this shit. On PlayStation is square, so on Xbox I would assume that it would be like whatever the left button is on that right side. Uh and then just pick whatever you want in your trade. You don't have to necessarily just be out here in the dumbest outfit ever. You can make shit invisible or do whatever you want. I mean, really still mad that I can't ride a death roll because I would rather have a death roll than a, a hippogriff, but that's, that's cool. And yeah, I'm still fucking with the Ember Dash broom since like the beginning the rest of these shit's cool but the amber dash is my shit and you can really customize the shit out of your wands really but the only bad part about it is you cannot go back to olive Anders and fucking like switch like your heart your fucking core and all that other bullshit whatever whatever uh as you can see here Red Oak, Dragon Heart Shrink, Unyielding, 13 inches. That's what I'm stuck with. At most, all you can do is switch the wand handles, as you can see here. But my personal favorite is that Celestial was fire. And then maybe the Imperials. That's about it. But anyway, definitely try this shit out if you are... If you are a fucking Hogwarts head, bro, like, this shit is, it's wonderful. It's definitely wonderful. If they came out with a VR version, which I'm hoping would be fucking amazing, it would, it would definitely be great. Uh, also, if they came out with an online, because this shit really gives me, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes, except it doesn't have a fucking online, which is really weird. So, that would be great if that fucking happened. Because this fucking map is huge. Like, fucking huge, bro. You, you can easily make this like a, I don't know, maybe like a 50. Like a 50 a lobby type of thing or some shit like that not even actually fuck that shit you can you can definitely make this like a hundred and people can hook up in like hogwarts style teams which would be what like harry hermione and ron really so like teams of three and then just kind of travel around and do shit which would be fucking amazing just the thought definitely uh give that a thought and fucking share this shit that way they can hopefully make that shit happen because that is that would be dope that would be fucking dope and then even on top of that shit where are the dragons like yo there's a dragon flying off the screen or flying across the screen right now like i collected a dragon egg from fucking posters and everything and I cannot get a dragon. So all these flying mouths. You got fetch rules. You got dragons. Uh, you got the hippogriff. You can fucking ride the lord of the shore. Which I can't remember what the fuck exact species that is. And you're telling me that I cannot be out here flying across the fucking world on a dragon. That's crazy. Especially since y'all set it up with like the whole goblin metal shit to make dragons listen or whatever type shit. That way they fucking obey what you say and niggas can't have a fucking dragon? Come on, bro. Come on. It's crazy. But anyway. That's, that's Hogwarts Legacy, man.
テンション。